everyone it's the space girl krishna back again and today we are going to discuss about the eminent scientist choice hubble image the hubble deep field now you may feel that these antenna galaxies captured by hubble or some nebula like this helix nebula captured by hubble is pretty more striking than the hubble deep field but first let's look at the amazing story about a universe which is to be offered by hubble deep field now we know that as light takes time to travel when we are looking at far away objects in space or capturing their image we are not just looking far in space but are also looking back in time and here in this image we can see around 3000 galaxies in different stages of their evolution and each of the dot we can see here is not a star but a galaxy and some of them are really in very early stages of their evolution just 800 million years after the big bang and also we got the hubble deep field by focusing the hubble space telescope into a small point in space where there was seemingly nothing. In this much small spot in space where there was seemingly nothing, we got thousands of galaxies. After the first Hubble Deep Field, we got Hubble Ultra Deep Field and other powerful space observatories of NASA also made deep fields in their own wavelengths. Now, in the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, we got even more. We got 10,000 galaxies with its width being just one-tenth of the diameter of full moon, which is like looking through a hole of needle in the sky. And in that much small space, we got 10,000 galaxies. And when we calculated it to the whole sky, we got 200 billion galaxies. That is the estimated amount of galaxies in an observable universe. 